this short video, we're going to look at how to put scrolling text on your display, which can be especially useful if you've got limited space to convey your message. Begin by creating a new presentation for your display in Content Studio. Next, click the Insert tab at the top, and then click Scrolling Text on the ribbon bar. This opens the Scrolling Text Import box. This first screen allows you to type your message. The text editing options above allow you to select different fonts, colors, outlines, and more for the text. It's also usually a good idea to spell check before importing this text. You can do this by clicking the button marked ABC at the far right. When you've completed entering and editing the text, click the next button on the bottom right. This next screen allows you to choose the scrolling direction for your text as well as any offset. By selecting the box marked scroll text completely off, your message will scroll all the way across the display before your next message appears. If you clear this box, your message will only scroll onto the display, but not necessarily off. The preview function in the next step allows you to see the difference. The final step to creating a scrolling text message is selecting the speed at which you want your message to scroll. When deciding what scrolling speed to choose, consider the speed of traffic. If the scrolling speed is set too slow, potential customers won't get a chance to read the entire message, but if it's too fast, no one will be able to read it. You can preview your message by clicking the play button. If you find that the speed is too fast or too slow, you can change it while the in preview mode to see what different speeds would look like. You can stop the preview by clicking the stop button. Once you've selected what options work best for your application, click the import button and the message will be imported into your presentation. If you find that you need to go back and make any modifications, simply double click the text to bring up the editing box again. Now you can make any corrections you need to make and then re-import the scrolling text message. For additional training information, visit www.dactronics.com slash venus1500 to see a list of additional training options and video tutorials 